the ongoing debate, which is superior, an ebook or a physical book? We all have our opinions, but today I'm interested in the cold, hard facts. Do our brains process reading differently on a digital device as we do to a piece of paper? Is reading a digital book all that different from reading a physical one? Because this could be the reason why we prefer one over the other. So let's ask science. Hey, science! Yes. Me and my friends would like to know if there's a difference between reading a physical book and an ebook. Well, I'm glad you asked. According to neuroscience, we humans use different parts of our brains when we read from a piece of paper compared to reading on a screen. When we read on a screen, our eyes dot around the page to try and piece together the right information. We're not deeply reading, we're simply skimming. Especially if you've been brought up around digital devices, your ability to jump around the page and piece together information quickly is heightened. But when it comes to reading deeply, and reading educational content in particular, this skill isn't quite so useful. Okay, but that sounds like you're talking about reading an article or something. What about reading an actual book? Well, thank you for asking. When reading a book on a screen, the light produced by the screen can cause adverse eye strain over time. The strain makes reading from a screen a lot more taxing than reading from a book. It may even cause the reader to read more slowly and miss things that they might not have missed if they were reading from printed text. In fact, studies have shown that the glare and flicker from screens tax the brain more than paper, especially if the text is longer. Well, sure, that might have been the case a few years ago, but modern e-readers now have these types of screens that look more like paper, so that kind of cancels that out. So what else you got? Okay, here's a good one. The feel of the pages in your hands isn't just nostalgia. It's a rich source of information telling the reader of their position in the text. Reading experts say that sense of position is important. Print readers are more likely to accurately recall the story's chronological order because of it. In fact, research suggests that we process information more effectively when we use multiple different parts of the brain and multiple different senses. So this means that seeing the words, holding the book in your hands and maybe even smelling the pages might have more of an effect than we realise. Ebooks simply don't have this. It's very difficult to position yourself in an ebook when you don't have the pages in your hand. Sure, ebooks have progress bars and percentages, but these are purely visual rather than tactile. Yeah, okay, I get that. I mean, when I'm reading an ebook, usually I have no idea how far I am through the book, and if somebody asked me to find a specific location for something that happened in the book, I'd probably really struggle. Maybe that's the good reason why taking notes, especially if you're reading non-fiction books, makes a lot of sense. Got anything else? Well, there's an endless supply of research and findings and studies I could... Alright, one more thing. Preference plays a huge role in how effective you think you'll be at reading an ebook versus a paper book. If you prefer paper books and you feel like you read better reading a paper book, then you'll read better reading a paper book. Whereas if you think that you can read an ebook just fine and there's no problem and no difference between that and a paper book, then you'll read an ebook just fine too. While some older studies found that there was a difference in comprehension and understanding between print and digital books, Modern studies have found very few differences at all. The matter is a personal one. If you prefer one over the other, then you'll do just fine reading that medium. So what you're saying is the science is inconclusive. So there you have it. There is no significant difference between an ebook and a paper book. Whatever you prefer is up to you. But I would like to know which you prefer. So leave me a comment and let's chat. And I will see you next Thursday for another video.